Tajaho, hi guys, it's Shunei and welcome back to my channel and today I'm reacting to episode 8 of Candy Colored Paradox. I am quite excited to see how this ends. Before we do get into it, I just want to quickly address, I saw a lot of people suggesting Sense8 for a like show that I should react to next. But with the Korean like web series, the Korean BLs, there is a massive tendency from those companies to copyright strike the reactors and then your channel just disappears within seven days if they do decide to do that so i am not really uh looking to risk that after my experience with semantic error so i am working on plans to react to those korean bills because korean bills as a whole there are some gems there and i don't want to like write off reacting to them completely but I can't like do it in the way that I reacted to semantic error. The one minute like redirect videos just do so much damage to the channel. So I am looking into it um, and I will keep you guys posted. But for now, unfortunately, we're not going to be doing 8th sense. I will let you know if when I do get to it. Anyway, all of that said, I do want to say a quick a massive thank you to all my amazing patrons and channel members. If you're interested in joining either of those for early access and uncut reactions to things like Candy Color Paradox, the links for it will be in the description below along with my social media and my peer box. And if you want to subscribe, that's always greatly appreciated. But now without further ado, let's get into today's video. <laughs> Okay, this did not last long in the mm. Was my partner? Oh no! Oh! <sighs> It's so difficult though, like where do you draw the lines here? Mm. It's sad because I think like from a noise perspective it seems like um, Kaburagi wants to get rid of him. But I think Kaburagi, at least from my perspective, it more seems like he's trying to be considerate of Anoi and trying to take him out of a position where he would be forced to continue behaving dishonestly. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite a beautiful shot. Mm. Oh, this is so awkward. Focus, you were just reprimanded. Oh my word, this man just cut to the heart of the issue. Damn. Let's hope he can like help them salvage this. Mm. That's a fair question. Mm. It is a problem. Oh, damn. Yeah, I feel like that, that, because I was thinking, what could this man say to reassure Kaburagi? I feel like this is actually it like that i think you know it takes a certain something to not lose your faith and hope that people are good um despite what you've seen and 
I think a noise approach of that has been mistaken as naivete not only by like me but it seems like by Kaburagi as well. <laughs> I, sometimes it feels like Unwe alone is keeping this man in business. Mm. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I just... <laughs> it's such an annoying way to approach the situation. Is he going to see the apartment uh, listings? I kind of wish he would. Mm, that is a good question, I'm curious. Oh, he was working as a servant. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's an interesting approach. The the way that that serving tray is being tilted is giving me anxiety. Mm. So now he, like, did this man go, oh crap, I told this man this, now I need to, like, prove to him that I was right. Yeah. I like this man is kind of chaotic, but I also like it. <laughs> oh, with the look of distrust in those eyes. Just so, a side note the outfit that Kaburagi currently has on looks amazing on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Oh. Did you guys really go back all the way back to work? I'm just a little, like lighting and coloring in this shot is beautiful. Because he likes you. No, it's it's fair. Like, come on, be honest. You would do the same thing for Anoe as well. Mm-hmm. Very good. Dogs, but that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like be, being disappointed in someone requires you to to care for them. Like it's not always great, um, and it's I guess it's not always the case. There are exceptions. But in this context, very much, 
I feel like if he didn't care for you, he wouldn't have been disappointed. This poor man. Mm -hmm. Just hug. We're gonna get a kiss. I don't know if I'm fully prepared. Okay. I mean, you know he likes you. Do you just want to hear it again? Yeah, but you added maybe, which is not the most reassuring. Hmm. You did. This is so cute. Mm. Oh. oh, that smile. That's so cute. I know we can barely see anything, but I kind of, like, the fact that it's in silhouette is so beautiful, I can't help but still think it looks amazing. Oh, that, that scene was beautiful. I think that might have been my favorite scene. Are you guys on a job again? Or is this, is this the new place? That would be so cool. Wow, this suddenly felt, it feels very intimate. <laughs> Ironically. I was not prepared for this. I thought I thought the kiss was where where the episode was going to end. Oh, how? Okay. So, whoa, okay. Guys, this is not where I thought this episode was going at all. How do you breathe again? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, lucky you. The rest of us have to work at it. Okay, sorry, I just... Uh, as I said, this like this show kind of like surprises me in terms of the, the levels that it goes to. And I'm feeling a little bit embarrassed right now. Oh. I'm, I don't know why I'm a sucker for like intertwining hands moments. That was a lot, that was a lot. Uh, just give me a second, hold on. <sighs> oh. That was cute.
I mean, I mean, to be fair, you can't like just always wake up looking like a model, even though they're really trying here, and I'm kind of pulling it off. I feel like they really put a lot of effort into the whoa into the framing of the this final episode because the these shots have been really beautiful um <laughs> in more ways than than you would think <laughs> oh i'm so glad they like they picked up on that <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll let go of that obvious fake fault, but... <laughs> Come on, keep holding hands, please. I'm such a Zaka for things like that. <laughs> Stakeout date, yay! <laughs> 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 that was such a fun show like i'm aware that it wasn't the most uh cinematically acclaimed one that we've watched from japan so far but there is something to be said for the effort that still went into it and it was still really fun i felt that actors did a good job and the chemistry was definitely there and especially this final episode i feel like you could see that there was a lot of effort put into the cinematography the lighting was so beautiful all of the shots here at the end like the office scene where the final confession took place and then the bedroom scene all of it really was beautifully lit beautifully shot um and it just it was just fun and wholesome and i do really feel like you know i i want to support the dramas that kind of explore things outside of the typical high school setting uh because they need to know that like we appreciate those as well um and this again it was really fun i liked some of the topics that it went into the moral issues that sometimes might be dealt with in a work environment um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me and otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one